Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about five skills that are absolutely needed if you want to earn money online in 2024. I will introduce to you a couple of skills that may help you become a more successful and or better digital entrepreneur and also show you how you can learn or acquire these skills even as a complete beginner. So with that in mind, let us get started right away with skill number one on our list which is patience guys. Yes, I know there are countless articles and guides out there on the internet that talk about key skills such as leadership, creativity or time management skills. Yes, all of these may help you become a more skilled and therefore potentially a more successful entrepreneur. However, I'm going to be honest with you guys. In my honest opinion, none of these skills will take you anywhere if you lack real patience, real and genuine patience. Believe it or not, but when I started out with my first online business, which was print on demand in 2018, I needed more than six months to make at least three figures a month passively. After six months of consistent daily uploading every single day, seven days a week on print on demand marketplaces such as Redbubble, for example, or Zazzle and another four months to get to the point where I started earning a thousand dollars a month with this, which makes 10 long months of hard work guys. And doing that required a lot of patience and persistency because you may like it or you may not like it, but running an online business requires a lot of patience and doesn't bring you any results overnight or within a few days or weeks normally, especially when you just started out. Skill number two, the ability to adapt to changes or to adapt in general. Now guys, the ability to adapt, for example, to changes or to developments on the market is an absolute key skill for digital entrepreneurs. Take AI technologies, for instance, you may like AI or not, but AI technology is here to change the way we live, to change the way we communicate with each other, and also to change the way a lot of us earn money or work. No one can predict how the rise of various AI powered tools on the market is going to affect the job market, freelance jobs in particular. We can rule out that if AI tools, for example, are going to replace human jobs like transcription, translation, proofreading or voice recording jobs in the future. That's why it is so important that especially as a freelancer or digital entrepreneur, you follow the news and also trends and stay up to date so that you can react if needed to changes and to the development on the job market and have enough time to react to prepare a backup plan or maybe even to diversify your income streams before it's too late for that. Which leads us to skill number three, diversification. Well, I wouldn't call it a skill actually, but rather an essential part of your business planning. It is actually very simple, guys. Don't make yourself dependent on one or two sources of income. Putting all of your eggs into one basket is never a good solution. It's not a solution at all, to be honest. I mean, guys, let us state some facts here. There are countless ideas for side hustles you can earn money with nowadays on the internet, even as a complete beginner with no prior expertise in digital marketing or in selling products and services online, like dropshipping or print on demand, for example. Well, these two are maybe not the best examples here because in order to succeed in long term with dropshipping or print on demand, you definitely need some good planning and preparation to add some context to this, but there are also less complicated earning methods and side hustles out there. You can start even as of today, for example, while still working in your normal 9 to 5 job, like freelancing, for example, running a monetized YouTube channel or TikTok channel, or even participating in paid research studies and consumer brand surveys. Although I'm not a big fan of these, to be honest, because the earning potential, the realistic earning potential of paid surveys is actually pretty limited or pretty low. That applies in particular to surveys, guys. Nevertheless, no matter which side hustle or business model you go with, make sure it's not your only source of income. If you'd ask me which one I would prefer, a single source of income bringing me quite a lot of profit per month or two or more smaller side hustles with less profit each per month, I'd definitely go with option number two without any hesitation or doubt. That's because the more source of income you maintain, the less dependent you become on each one of them. If you have one source of income, for example, and you lose that one, for instance, if your YouTube channel got demonetized or your dropshipping store failed somehow, you will be left pretty much empty handed without a backup plan or an additional source of income. That risk is much lower if you run multiple side hustles. 
If one of them somehow stops earning money for you, you will still have a couple of other sources to generate profit for you and that may save you a lot of stress, believe me. Skill number four, outsourcing. Now, this is not a skill either, to be honest, but rather than that, we should treat this like an essential part of our entire business. Believe it or not, if you want to scale up and run, for example, not one monetized YouTube channel, but maybe three or four, or sell products in various online stores, in general, run several businesses as a digital entrepreneur simply to increase your monthly profit, you will sooner or later get to a point where you won't be able to catch up with the content creation anymore, for example, for your e-commerce store or for your own YouTube channel. It's not that I'm promoting any freelance services here, guys, not at all. I'm just stating facts. Running, for example, several YouTube channels as a true professional, like for example, within your YouTube automation business, is definitely not a job you can do alone, guys, without any help at all. You may start it as a one-man or one-woman job, of course, but sooner or later you will get to the point where you will need someone to help you out in, for example, in creating quality content for your YouTube or TikTok channel, especially if you're planning to run more than one channel. Skill number five, the last one on our list, but not the least important one, endurance now guys that's a skill barely anyone is talking about i have learned why is endurance so important for digital entrepreneurs well for entrepreneurs in general i thought endurance is something you need in sports for example well guys i can tell you based on my very own experience and i have been in a digital entrepreneurship niche or a community for quite a time now no matter how well you plan your business or how well prepared you approach your career, or how many skills and how much experience you may have in your respective field, there will be obstacles along the way that's almost 100% inevitable unless you're very lucky and everything goes smoothly right from the start to the finish, which is rarely the case. Besides, you should never count on things such as luck. Anyway, as a digital entrepreneur, there will be obstacles, guys, events, for example, you didn't see coming or you had no control of. Companies, for instance, you work with may go broke out of a sudden. The global economic situation may shift abruptly. Technical issues may occur, for example, with your website or e-commerce store or hosting and so on and so forth. Stuff like that happens all the time, guys, and you really need to count that in. Be prepared for things like that to happen and learn how to not lose your focus and how to not become discouraged, especially when you just started your online business. Diversification, for example, or having a backup plan or saving money for the future may help you deal with these events much better. Keeping a realistic attitude may be beneficial too here because realistic expectations may help you focus on goals you can really and realistically achieve and save you from disappointment later. For example, if things don't go the way they were supposed to go. Remember, there will always be ups and downs. That's normal, that's life, and it's also how running a business online works, guys. All right, so to not make this video too long, that's five traits or skills you need to become a better digital entrepreneur in 2024. Hope you enjoyed the video, got some real value from it, and I'll see you guys next time on our channel.